G'day guys, hope you're having a good holiday. I'm just gonna give you guys some uh, content for the holidays to work on while you're not having any guitar lessons. It's a couple challenges. Uh, this is the Louis Capaldi song, uh, Before You Go. Just gonna look at the structure, uh, the chords used, and the finger picking, and assign you guys with some ideas to work on over the holidays. So looking at the intro and chorus progression, We've got a C chord. We've got an A minor chord. We've got an F chord. And we've got a G chord. Now in this song, you may have noticed, and for those who have already done this, you'll notice it's in six eight. So we count six beats per bar. So our bass note is doing this. So for you beginner guitar players, I want you to play the third fret on the fifth string, which is the C note, which is our root note of the C chord. We're gonna play on every downbeat in the bar of six. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're gonna play the open A. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're gonna play the open F. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excuse me, uh, should have been an F note on the E string, and then we're gonna play a G note. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they're both on your top E strings. So once you've mastered that, once you've got the one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. One, 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 two, three, four, five, six. I want you to try and add the note that's played on the off beat, or I'm going to call it the end beat. Um, which will be the other C, which is on the second string, first fret. Now, notice I've got a capo here on the third fret. If you don't have a capo, you can still play the song without the capo. It's all good. So if you've lost it in the holidays, that's okay. Just make sure you order one for term two. So what we're going to do, we've got the C now, and on the off beat, we're going to play the C on the second string. So we're going to go one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and then we're going to go to a one and two and three and four and five and six and with the c mind you so we're going to keep our index finger planted there on the first fret of the second string one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and for the more advanced students you guys should be able to play that top string as well one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and. For my beginner kids, can you just play, when you learn an F chord like that, can you just play the root note here on your fourth string, the third fret, um, which, is de uh, which is F. So you've got one and two and three, four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and. Then we're gonna go to G but we're not just playing conventional G, we've got C here still. So it's actually a G suspended four chord. So it sounds like this, one and two and three and four and five and six and. Then we take our index finger off and we're gonna play one and two and three and four and five and six and. So all together, one, two, three, four, five, six. One and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and one, two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three, four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and. Now, for the beginner kids who are just struggling with the finger picking, that's fine. All I want you guys to do is grab a pick and just play one chord per measure. So we're just gonna strum. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, G, two, three, four, five, six, G, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got C, two, three, four, five, six, C, two, three, four, five, six. So a minor, four, five, six, A minor. And then we go to F. F two three four five six F two three four and then G G two three four five six and G two three four five six. So there's your verse, your intro and your verse progression. Now when we jump to the chorus, it goes different pattern C chord, and then it goes to G chord, A minor, and then an F chord. So again, the chords get two bars each, but it's finger picked a little bit differently. It sounds like this. So that pattern there, one and two and three and. So that's the pattern repeated twice in the bar. So I'm going root note C, I'm plucking open G with my index finger, I'm going back to the root note and then I'm playing the open E with my root finger. So I'm going one and two and. And then I go three back to the root note and on the G. Yeah, so I'll do that slow. One, and, two, and, three, and. And we repeat that. Four, and, five, and, six, and. So you can see it's a pattern that just gets repeated over and over again. And we're using the G and the E over and over and over again over every chord. The only thing that's happening is the root note changes. So if you watch my left hand, it's not doing a lot. Just got the C root, same pattern. One and two and three and four and five and six and repeat. Two and three and four and five and six and. Then I go to G, just put my ring finger straight up, third fret, fret top string, do the same finger picking pattern. One and two and three and four and five and six and. One and two and three and four and five and six and. This is the easy bit, no fingers. Just open A, open the strings, G and E. One and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and. And then we've got F. And we actually fret this D here on the second string with our pinky. So we go one and two and three and four and five and six and. Actually, I've got this around the wrong way. So we actually go opens first, one and two and three and four and five and six and, like we've been doing. Then we go to the D. One and two and three and four and five and six and. So that's your chord progression. The second repeat does the exact same thing. Only difference is we go, once we've done the second repeat, we've done C, we've done G, we've done A, we've done F, and we F with D on the second string. We go to G here with our third finger because we've used our index finger for F. We use our ring finger here for the G and we're going to create a G5 open chord. So we've got G here and we've got D still here. And we've got the open G as well. Same finger picking pattern. One and two and three and four and five and six and. Um, and then you just give it a little strum. Yeah, there's your dotted minimum for those who are paying attention to the bars. Uh, so you've got one and two and three and four and five and six and one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, and now I don't expect the beginner kids to really get that chorus down. Again, for you guys, keep it simple. C, two, three, four, five, six. C, two, three, four, five, six. G, two, three, four, five, six. G, two, three, four, five, six. A minor, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, to F. And F, two, three, four, five, six. F, two, three. And you guys just repeat that again. After the F on the second repeat, you're just going to go to G, two, three, four, five, six, G. Cool. So 
If you guys can have a go at that, for my beginner kids, just have a go at the chords, have a go at that intro verse progression with just your, your root note first, just the bass note, yeah. Get that thumb working, six per bar. Three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Once you get confident with that, then you're gonna go and add the C's. One and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and so on. Yeah. And then once you've got the hang of that, obviously you've got the chorus as well, so you've got the, you've got that pattern. Now the last thing we've got is we've got the bridge where he's got, he's got octaves. So this is for the, I guess, intermediate to advanced kids. So you're just playing semi-quavers if we're talking uh, doubling up the bar. Um, you're going one and two and three and four and five and six and with the C's, yeah. Um, then you basically, pretty tricky. Yeah, wow. So I'm just going one and two and three and four and five and six and. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. I've got C here, it's my index finger. I'm playing an octave, so I'm playing two Cs. The C here, below middle C, and I've got middle C here. So I've got those two Cs together. I've got to try and mute all the other strings. Yeah, so there's a little trick to that. My index finger's playing the C, but also just touching all the other strings. My root finger's touching that, yeah, just touching the top string. So when I strum across all the strings, I'm muting most of them, yeah, except for the two that are fretted. Now, the next chord is just a slash chord, same concept. So you've got that C over B sound. Um, and then you're gonna go A. Now, some of you are probably thinking, can't I just play open A? Well, you can't because how are you going to mute the other strings? So it's a lot easier to use your third finger here, play the A, and then your third finger, your ring finger, can then mute the other strings, along with your index finger, just resting on the bottom two strings there to help mute the rest of them. And then you've got this big stretch, massive stretch. This would be a challenge. You at F in the bass. So it's the bass moving, C stays on the treble note here, on the G string. So you've got one, two, three, four, fifth fret with your cape on the third fret. So you've got one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and one two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and five and six and back to that. Now, last challenge for the advanced kids. You've been finger picking for the whole thing. I want you guys to play the chorus with a pick. So you're going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you're gonna accent on two beats. One and two and three and four and five and six and. So you're on both the open E's, which land on one and two and three and four and five and six and two and and five and one and two and three and and five and six and and then you do the same for the rest of it it's pretty challenging because you've got a lot of string skipping so it's going to test your accuracy and it's going to test your actual um, cleanliness of your right hand picking technique so that's actually a really great technique um, anyway guys that's just a little bit of extra for you guys to have a look at in the holidays. So there's plenty there for everyone. All my students should find something in that little short video. Um, somewhat a challenge for most of you. 
Uh, probably so there's just a, a few that probably may find this a little easy. I'm going to have another video up soon on a more jazz related topic and some improvisation as well. But anyway, uh, have a great holiday, rest up, and I'll see you guys in term two. Cheers.